Here we go on the other side of losers' quarters. We have Hunter versus Robbie. Hunter just today beat the number nine ranked player in Prince George. John saw that earlier in the top eight bracket, but I'm just gonna have to have a bit tighter of a game if he wants to beat the number four in Prince George, Robbie, right now. Hunter sticking with that Captain Falcon that he's been using all day. We have seen him bust out the King Unity if he uh, needs. So we'll see how this goes. Game one's going to Smashville. Oh, 40 eye in that forward air. Hunter definitely could have lived that. Kind of moving around. Gets an opening with the grab, but Robbie's back on stage. Ooh. Interesting force match there from, uh, from Hunter. I don't know what he's trying to go for. He's trying to catch. Robbie so far just been dominating this first game. Almost lapped uh, percentages. Ooh, lands with a soft knee, but the shield grab makes it safe in a weird way. Because uh, landing with uh, Falcon's Forder, not good. It has so much landing leg to it, but you catch your opponent shield grabbing like that, kind of puts you in, a, in like an, advan an advantageous situation. Hunter trying to find a spare and try to start with something going, but he lands with the forward air again. Trying to go for that knee, but he doesn't get him. Drive by Raptor Boost again. We saw that, we saw him do that earlier. Oh! The trade. Forward smash with the forward air. But that means that Robbie, being a stock up, takes the first game. If my ears are correct. We are going back to Smashville game two. Off we go. I'm gonna be a bit more patient with where he's placing his aerials this game. But already thrown off stage. Captain Falcon does have a pretty tough time trying to get back on the stage once he's thrown off. It's a very linear recovery, and uh, he doesn't have the best ledge options, but not the worst either. Stuck on the side out there on the Smashville platform. Let's find his way back on stage, but he's a dash attack from Robbie. Oh, Robbie did have to read with that up smash there. Did see that roll coming. A little missed time. Falcon kick. He gets a weak out of up smash. I'm not sure if the sour spot, I mean the sweet spot, sorry, would have taken the stock. But. The turn up barely, uh, not quite doing it, sorry. Hunter barely surviving. I'm trying to go for the, the side B, Peach Bomber. Force smash from Hunter. Not quite, no, not punish, I didn't have like a true punish on him, but he gets a grab anyways. Hunter finding a straight back air, putting him in a really good position. The up air from Robbie turning that situation right around. Nair from Peach killing off the top. Hunter going off stage with the top and down air. Stomp. Probably running on a float there. Couldn't uh, stay out there too long. I'm trying to go for the up B. Oh! Probably going for some big damage with that combo there. Doesn't find the, the hard hit of a back air. It's probably what he wanted. 
but regardless, that's still like 30%. Still alive here, 61% on the side of Hunter. Down a stock. I want to say it's looking like it's going to be 2 0, but we have seen Hunter make some pretty miraculous comebacks. Falcon back throw is going to kill. He's a pretty lightweight character. I'm not surprised at all. Bradley tries to go for the up tilt, turns to Beto with a panic recovery option. Robbie wise to it though. Gets the air dodge with a forward air. And Robbie going up 2 0. This loser's quarter set. The loser of this goes on with fifth place from the winner. Goes to winner semis. Back to Smashville. Hunter busting out the King DDD. Now, there are a lot of reasons why DDD is not a very good character, but <coughs> Hunter is very loyal. Not, he's kind of loyal. He plays DDD sometimes. He still plays it. This is more than other DDD mains can say. I'm trying to go for Dares the Ledge just to try and catch that King DDD recovery, which is uh, you know, pretty uh, punishable. Bears away the Gordo. Probably just wanted to hit DDD himself, but that's any consolation prize. You hit the spiky thing. Hashtag. Hunter tried to fall with the neutral area. King Diddy's late, late neutral layer hit. Uh, very combo starter, especially these kind of like mid percent. Eventually they do fall out, but I think right there would have been the sweet spot for having a good opening. Turn up reflects back the Gordo. What is like a very like risky projectile throw? Because it can be reflected back by almost any move. Hunter with the up smash. Probably taking that first stock, and now he is one stock away from moving on to loser semis. We'll see what Hunter has to say about it. He's trying to catch that uh, neutral getup, but instead, Robbie rolls on. Starts the pressure, gets some damage, finds a few down throws. Remember, there's that late neutral air, but it's kind of out of that percent where he can actually get some kind of combo off of it. Especially on a floating character like Peach. Though, gets another down throw into up air. Finds the second one. Hunter was trying to throw the Gordo. Hits the second one. Robbie has already lapped Hunter in percent. Finds a backer to send that King DD off stage. Hunter must be pretty desperate to try and find something. Probably trying to just send him packing, but. King Unity sending Peach back with that down smash, but that Porter just drops in with it. Robbie. And Robbie taking that set 3 0. We're going to be sending it over to winner's finals now. See who goes in the grand. 